vitamins for your brain. Is there really such a thing as vitamins for your brain? Can supplements really make a difference in how your brain works? I know it sounds hokey, but it's actually true. Vitamins can make a big difference according to human studies that we've seen. This is especially true in, uh, to prevent and even manage memory loss, dementia, and even early stages of Alzheimer's disease. It's important because Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in our society. It's also important because after the age of 55, the brain stops making optimal amounts of the memory chemical called acetylcholine, and we all start to have some memory loss unless we do something proactive about it. And the brain also starts to shrink as we get older. After age 60, the brain shrinks by 1 to 2 percent every year. The only thing that's ever been shown to prevent the shrinkage of the brain or slow it down dramatically are certain supplements, vitamin supplements. So to understand it, you have to first uh, appreciate, you know, what happens to the brain over our lifetime. Well, there are certain things that occur in the brain that are due to the aging process itself, and then we can amplify damage to the brain through faulty dietary and lifestyle behaviors. So what happens in the brain that leads to memory loss, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease are the following uh, steps, and they're all sort of intertwined, if you will. The, one of the major features is that because the brain uses 20% of the body's oxygen at any given time, because it's so metabolically active to make all the energy that it needs, it needs oxygen as part of that process. But there's a downside to oxygen, that is that it generates free radicals as well. The same way if I took an apple and I cut it in half and I expose it to the oxygen and air, how it turns brown and starts to rot. The same thing happens to the brain if it's exposed to a lot of oxygen day after day, which it is and those brain cells get damaged, there's corrosive effects that occur that can eventually damage the, the nerve cells to the point where they can no longer function. So we see that free radical damage to the brain over the longer you live, the more free radical damage you're going to have. It's linked to Alzheimer's, it's linked to, Par it's linked to Parkinson's disease, we see free radical damage in multiple sclerosis and some other neurodegenerative diseases. But we've also seen that antioxidants can, can slow down the free radical damage, and that's what we're going to come back and talk about in a second. The other thing that occurs in the brain is that the brain stops making optimal amounts of the memory chemical called acetylcholine as we get older, and that's because the brain can't make the raw material for that memory chemical. Can't, it can't make choline the way it once did when you were younger, and it can't absorb it the way it once did. So the, the brain chemical, of the memory chemical, starts to drop off. Studies have shown that if you can get more choline into the brain, that you have a much better chance of maintaining a better memory throughout your entire lifetime. A recent study here in 2011 in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition just gave us some additional um, substantiation for that. Other things that can happen due to faulty dietary behaviors. You can produce brain inflammation from eating the wrong foods, and brain inflammation is linked to Alzheimer's disease. You can also clog up the arteries in the brain the same way you clog up arteries in your heart. You can clog up arteries in your brain with fat and cholesterol and plaque. And that then blocks blood flow to key nerve cells. And if they can't get nutrients and oxygen, then those nerve cells are going to die or stop functioning the way they did when you were younger. So that type of vascular dementia is a result of that kind of clogging up of blood vessels. And then most recently, we've seen that people that, have, that are diabetics, people that have high blood sugar levels, people who are overweight and out of shape, and all these people have blood sugar irregularities and usually higher insulin levels, that those individuals have a much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease as they get older than someone who's fit and thin and a non-diabetic. Why? Because the high sugar and high insulin is sort of sugar-coating proteins in the brain causing glycosylation, as we call it, to certain brain proteins and producing other types of damage. That's linked to an increased risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So these lifestyle factors combined with aging factors all culminate into a profile that we all have that either increases our risk for these problems or helps to mitigate the risk. So what have supplements been shown to do? Well, supplements have been shown to reverse many of these changes and slow down brain aging itself. How? Certain supplements can raise the brain level 
of acetylcholine, which is the memory chemical that normally declines as you get older. Certain supplements can improve blood, throat, blood flow through the brain, so you're getting better oxygen and nutrients to all the brain cells. Certain supplements reduce brain inflammation, improve nerve transmission, electrical conduction through the brain. The brain's an electrical organ. That's how it can, the nerve cells communicate with each other electrically. And, and certain supplements maintain the fluidity of the nerve cells so they don't harden and become rigid and stop functioning. And only certain supplements can actually slow the atrophy or the shrinking of the brain that occurs in all of us after the age of 60. So what are the key vitamins that, that can do this? Well, I will tell you that it's only certain B vitamins that have ever been shown to slow the atrophy of the brain, the shrinking of the brain that occurs as we get older. Only certain B vitamins can do that at specific dosages. And B vitamins are also necessary to make brain chemicals that are required to prevent depression and to keep our mood where it should be for cognitive function. B vitamins are required for the brain for a lot of purposes. And the antioxidant vitamin E has been shown to block free radical damage in the brain. And studies have shown that in people with Alzheimer's disease, if they take high doses of vitamin E at specific levels, that it can actually slow down the progression of the disease and that people who do the best are people who use the Alzheimer's drugs in conjunction with high doses of the antioxidant vitamin E. And also omega-3 fats have been shown to improve brain circulation, improve nerve conduction, um, also uh, experimentally anyway help block the formation of what's called the beta amyloid plaque which is a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's. People with more omega-3 fats intake in their blood and their brain have less Alzheimer's disease in all the populations that have been studied so far. And then there are some herbal agents that can raise the brain level of acetylcholine. CDP choline, phosphatidylserine, Bacopa monieri, uh, and um, the other one that I like is phosphatidylserine as well. Those ones together as a single supplement after the age of 55, really, really important. So you, you ha but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know the right dosages and the right standardized grades. And you must know this, certain supplements for the brain are actually dangerous. Things like ginkgo biloba and vinpocetine and DAME, dimethyl amino, uh, uh, dimethyl amino ethanol. Um, uh, these, uh, these particular compounds have actually been shown to be a bit dangerous. Some of them can lead to bleeding disorders. That's my big concern with ginkgo and with vinpocetine. So yeah, you have to know what you're doing, and you also have to know that certain nutrition and lifestyle practices are very important for the prevention of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, the, the drugs for Alzheimer's disease are not the answer to its management because within seven years, you know, the average Alzheimer's patient dies within seven years of the diagnosis because the drugs don't really stabilize the condition as well as it should. So it, it, the answer really lies in slowing down brain aging and mitigating the, the, the faulty dietary and lifestyle practices that we have. And supplements, vitamins can do a, a, a tremendous amount to help. My problem is that most medical doctors don't study enough nutrition and natural medicine to really uh, you know, get this across to the patients that they see. And so what I've done is I've explained exactly what you need to know in this little ebook that's available here. It's called the, nu the Nutritional Guide to the Prevention of Memory Loss in Alzheimer's Disease. It shows you the complete program, all the scientific references are there, all the human clinical studies are there, so you know, I didn't just pull it out of the sky. This is what people need to know today about protecting their brain as they get older so you can stop all those changes that are usually associated with deterioration in your mental uh, faculties. So download the book right now, look at what those strategies are, it'll all make sense to you, and put those simple practices into place in your life as soon as possible. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see other videos I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other resources and downloads that I've put together that, that are all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. And all the research review papers and, and uh, teaching materials that I have have all the scientific references in them so you know you're getting the best evidence-based information that's available today from the scientific community. So you really should make uh, machinohealth.com an ongoing reliable resource when you're looking for any health or wellness information for both you and your family members because you're going to be getting the straight goods right there. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.